video I'm going to show you how to replace a bathtub faucet handle that is a single unit handle like this one. This cover will pop off. I'm just going to use it. going to take something like a small flathead screwdriver like this. I've also used box cutter knives and just gone around it like this to kind of loosen it off by getting the any grunge that's built up in there but you're less likely to cut your finger with a small flathead screwdriver and as you do this you should find a little space there where you can pop this out So what I did there is I just kept going around the outside edge and eventually got enough space to get my small little screwdriver in there. The rear of the cap, we can see there's just little tabs and that's what holds it in place. Once it comes off, we see there is a screw holding the handle in place. In this case, it is a Phillips head screw, so a screwdriver like this. That will also fit a flathead that's not too wide. I'm going to use the Phillips head. This house is on a well and there are a lot of minerals in the water so this kind of stuff gets gummed up. You can see the buildup on that screw, that's from the minerals in the water. And then our handle comes off. With the handle removed, we see here a bunch of these minerals I was telling you about that's built up on the handle, which is why I'm taking this one off just to soak it and seal it and clean it up. This is going to have a hex key to keep it in place. I'm going to get a different view so I can show you that. You're going to need a tool, something along these lines. I'll put a link to one of these on Amazon. There's different types of uh, hex key sets you can get. This head here will go into this screw. So just take your hex wrench, insert it here, until you find the proper size. So I've gone through a couple of them and this is the one that will insert up in there and then we're going to turn that counterclockwise hopefully without me knocking my key. I loosened that screw off a bit there and in order to show you the removal of the rest of the screw, I'm actually going to turn the water on so you won't to get a better vantage point. As you can see, it's kind of amazing the amount of crud that has built up on our pieces. So I'm going to soak the whole thing in CLR. I've used this stuff before. It's great for getting rid of the mineral buildup from this the water in this house. Now read the directions for this stuff. Uh, it says to dilute it 50-50, I believe it is, but as you can see, with the severity of the buildup on these pieces, I'm just putting her full strength. I'm going to let that soak for a while.
Installing the handle is going to obviously be the reverse process. So I'm going to take my hex screw, put it on the end of my wrench. Here's our piece that goes on there. I also put a little CLR and cleaned up that arm that's there. Now I'm going to just start to get that threaded in just so it's in place. Now put this on our handle. This time we're going clockwise looking at it from underneath we're turning our screw clockwise. Now I'm going to put our handle on there making sure that the grooves inside the handle line up with the grooves inside the arm here. Put our screw in place. Phillips head screwdriver. By the way, uh, I only had to soak these parts in the CLR for seven minutes, and you can see how effective it was. Take our cap. I should have cleaned that off a little better. Take my little toothbrush air, baby. And we'll just line that up. And there we are. Anyway, hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.